because that decision uh, came out uh, this morning. The new ownership, 100 days in charge. Uh, Todd uh, Bowley, the co-owner uh, involved in that, a sporting director, clearly felt he'd seen enough uh, of Thomas Tuchel, despite, as I said, winning the Champions League, what, just uh, at the end of uh, the season before last. Um, so, Brian, the ownership has changed, but this is, is this a case of same old Chelsea? Second managers? Well, they've had a very unorthodox approach to dealing with managers ever since Abramovich came in. I mean, this, at this stage, I think they're looking for their eighth manager in ten seasons, despite the fact that they've been generally very, very successful through that period. So it's no surprise. The surprise... The surprising aspect is under a new owner with, the, with Todd uh, Bowley and his, his mates having put in four billion, that they're continuing in the same vein of, as a, a Bramvich, that once they lose a few games, it's time to shift the manager and we'll do it early in the season and we'll do it after the team has been, the previous manager has been quite successful, which you have to say Thomas Tuchel has been quite successful. They lost... They lost three domestic cup finals, but he's won the World Cup, World Club Cup. He's won the Champions League. Amazing when he came in that January. He came in after Frank Lampard. They got through the, the group stage, that had to be said, under Frank Lampard. There's his record. But um, there's been turmoil at the club last year with the Abramovich thing, the Rudiger's contract not getting sorted out, Christensen the same, the unhappiness about Lukaku, I, I don't know whether Tuchel really wanted Lukaku, but they never got the grips of that one. So they moved him on, but under the new guys, they've been out there with a scattergun approach to sign the players. Bit of a and, supermarket uh, sweep, hasn't it? And it's kind of mad stuff. I, I think the Cucurella one for me is, is one I find baffling. Brighton caught them coming and now Brighton, they're going to Brighton to get the manager. If they got around 60 million for the left-back where they had three half-decent left-backs at the club as it was. And, and what I thought was really interesting last night, two of the most expensive signings, Koulibaly at 35 million sterling and Fafana at 75 million mm. sterling were a fault on the goal. Massively a fault. Left 2v2 against two average enough players and they didn't deal with it. And after the match, Tuchel had the big go about their defending. So you, I'm wondering, was that part of it that he was in a constant battle about the, what Bowley wanted to do as the new owner, that he wanted to be involved in the signings, maybe wanted to make decisions on who some of the signings should be, given that he has no uh, long-term understanding of football and suddenly he's coming in. And that may be the way at Chelsea for next year or two until your man settles down and lets the football people run maybe the Maybe a point. Uh... Because the likes of Peter Cech was obviously vital to success in recent years and a bit of stability and working with the manager and signing the right players. Granit Skovaya, uh, um, she seemed to have a big hand in dealing with agents and players' contracts. And then, of course, Bruce Buck, who had been there for 18, 19 years. So all that stability has gone out the window and the new people, he looked exasperated, I thought, over it. You look at the thing... So do you, what you're saying, Bryce, is he paying the price... Is he paying the price for that upheaval within the club that he couldn't perform in those circumstances and... and He's lost his job. Because and his own behaviour yeah. became like he was more exasperated. His, his decision his decision making became unclear. Look at the game last night. Lots of changes of tactics, changes of positions, changes in shape in the match without getting too much out of the player. Lots of changes of players because there's so many new players coming in and he's trying okay. to fit them in and trying to make the best of it. Because the whole situation has been unstable since the war broke out in Ukraine basically and Bramovich the pressure they were under with having to get him out of the way and sell the club so I think that has led to this the new owners instability not knowing the manager wanting their own man in the manager is obviously a difficult fella in his mm. own way he fought with people at PSG um, he ended up you know, in, in, in rows there, left around December time. Same thing in Dortmund after two years, about five years at Mainz. He's, he's obviously... OK, I'll bring you in this, Richard.